What is good friends, we're here with some OSD coverage, so this is uh, the top 32 match between Eternal, who is in my Discord chat, so I'm rooting for him, versus I'm Dragon. Whoever wins this moves on uh, to top 16 and faces Zamiyaudo, every other match has been played already. So yeah, let's look at the teams real quick, also you guys can expect more tournament coverage in the future. So we have a Mega Medichem uh, squad on M Dragon's side, Eternal has good checks for it, he has uh, Ladi, Weavile, Torn and Clef to keep the Medi in check. Then uh, the Megina could be offensive shift gear bolt beam on M Dragon's side with either um, last move Calmant or Focus Blast. Uh, Focus Blast is more common lately because if you have bolt beam Focus Blast then you're not walled by Ferrothorn and you're not walled by Heatran which is quite important. But a yeah, Gastron can deal with Megina. Uh, Heatran and Greninja, so it's, I think Gastron has a really good matchup here. And Bilati and Clef, he can deal with the Tangrowth uh, that would be able to be beat the Gastron otherwise. Um, I could see the Lando being Scarf on Dragon's side for some speed control. Uh, maybe Scarf with Stone Edge, because Pinsel looks like a big threat to his team. Then uh, Ninja probably spikes Raven, we'll have to see if it's a Protein or um, Battlebond version variant. So we see Lati with Heatran lead, and uh, Dragon should switch out into. Lando or Changros here, scout out the Earthquake. I guess Greninja is a potential play. Um, if him, if Eternum has Draco, he can definitely go for Draco here uh, to hit the incoming Lando or Ninja hard. But he goes into Tangrowth and we see Ice Beam. Okay, Ice Beam, um, I think that's to hit Glisco mainly. Maybe I used it in SPL Finals. And I'm not sure if that's AV damage because that did a lot. If it's Max Special Attack, maybe this is an AV Tangrowth with um, some fist death investment. That's why it did that much, but I'm not sure. But yeah, um, Dragon obviously doesn't want to sack his Tangrowth here, so he's going to pivot out into either uh, Land or Greninja. So he goes Greninja, and we see Eternal goes for Earthquake there, uh, predicting the Megiana most likely. Um, now he goes into Clefable there, uh, which is a fine play because he's not going to Hydro Pump with a Gastron in the back. Uh, especially when Gastro and Clefable are both at full. So yeah, um, M Dragon was able to get up a spike, turn him throws up his rocks. So that means the Heatron is not rocks. So the Heatron could be uh, maybe a Taunt Toxic variant, a Magma Storm and Earth Power. Or it could be Scarf. Um, if it's the Taunt Toxic Magma Storm variant with Earth Power, then it's probably Z move. And then the Taunt is. Um, I don't know what item the Taunt would be. Maybe Helmet, maybe Life Orb. Uh, if the trend is the Z. But yeah, um, he's obviously forced out here. Eternum just plays it safe, this time goes for Earthquake, pivots into Greninja, they're expecting the Ice Beam and gets the play correct. So now um, it's between Dark Puts and Hydro Pump here. Uh, no, no, Eternum is just gonna go into his Gastron, right? Yeah, he's just gonna go Gastron because he's at full. So I'm Dragon could uh, just fire off a Dark Pulse because he has up rocks and spikes, that means the Gastron is gonna be forced to recover if it comes out. Yep, that's the Dark Pulse. So Gastron is forced to recover here. Okay, he doesn't want to risk getting flinched, which makes sense. Good play by Eternum. So now um, I could see the Heatran coming out. So did he double predicting the Heatran? He just goes for Wish. So now he's probably going to pass the Wish into the Gastron. And Dragon pulls a double into Medichem predicting the Gastron. That's a really good play um, by M Dragon. Because uh, Medichem being in on Gastron means um, trouble for Eternum. Because I think he can then Headbutt here, because that covers the Clefable. He could also high jump kick, um, both plays are fine, but yeah, Eternum is not gonna stay in, he wants the Gastron because, like I said, it does really well versus Megina, Greninja, and even Heatran, but yeah, he has Megalari to back up check Heatran. So he goes hard into Lari, they're expecting a high jump kick or a Zen Headbutt, and that's the Zen Headbutt, that's 40. So now, um, if he doesn't have Draco, he already should Ice Beam, then he can't Oko this, he goes for Psychic, and um, Medicham is gonna be able to kill the Lari with an Ice Punch. So he didn't have Draco, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, he would have gone for it. So, he can go Weavile here, Pursuit the Medicham um, to make sure it doesn't get another kill. It has one more switch into Rocks. Uh, pretty sure Pursuit is just a play to make sure that the Medicham dies. And after this Medicham goes down, and Dragon could go into uh, a few things. Either Heatran or Megiana. Or even Landris and click U-turn. But I think Heatran or Megiana makes the most sense. Um, this is most likely Choice Bandit Weavile. You don't see Life Orb and yeah. That's just the most common we will set. Sometimes you see SDZ move, but I'm pretty sure with Pursuit. Uh, Pursuit variant is gonna be Bandit or Life Orb, and since we don't see Life Orb, it has to be Bandit. Um, if Magina comes out, I would give Eternum a switch into um, Gastro or Clef, depending on the Magina set. And if Heatron comes out, okay, Heatron comes out, that would mean, um, yeah, Gastron is probably gonna have to come out here. Unless he wants to sack something else. I guess if he's um, Scarf Tran, he could go to his own Tran and then potentially threaten out M Dragon with the Earth Power. Uh, so he does go on a Heat Tran as M Dragon pulls a double into Tangrowth, expecting the Gastron. 
Uh, so Eternal made a really good play there because this covered the Magma Storm. And, ooh, he goes for Z, is it? Ooh, it's the Inferno Overdrive Bob. So yeah, he doubled, he got Rent Hedron because it covered the Magma Storm. And it covered the double into Tangrowth. I think he mainly predicted the double into Tangrowth. Because even if you break the Magma Storm, then you still have to um, risk the speed tail afterwards. Unless you Scarf, and since we just saw the Z move, now we know that he's not Scarf. So yeah, his team probably didn't have a Scarf. But it makes sense, he has a defensive backbone and some speed control and Ice Shot Rewell and Torn. Um, they also have good base speed tiers, Torn and Rewell. But yeah, I assume we see the Greninja or Lando here. <clears throat> I think Greninja makes more sense, yeah. So now Andrang has to like, kind of win a 50-50 between Dark Pulse and Hydro Pump. Um, I think the Gastron is not at full, but I don't remember how healthy he was. So he goes to Clef breaking the Dark Pulse and Andrang goes for Pump and misses. So that miss sucks a uh, fuck ton, that would have done like 70-ish percent, I think, that's a head count. So now, um, did we see a Wish? We see a Moonblast. I thought Wish was the play there. Um, because I don't think he was gonna Pump again, because he could have gone hard into Gastron. Or he could have Moonblasted and killed the Greninja. But yeah, Gastron comes out, um, Taunt there. Now, I see. I think Skull is gonna come out from Eternal. What is it, Gracium Trend? It's in front of Overdrive, okay. So yeah, Skull is just a play that makes the most sense to me, because it hits everything, even the Landris. And Dragon could have tried to go on Landris on the Earthquake, so Skull makes the most sense. But yeah, uh, Skull is gonna be able to tweet Kyo the Heatran here. There was no point in switching it died to Rocks, and he didn't have a good switch into Gastron. So now he can go Landris, and um, probably click U-Turn. Because U-turn should kill since Gastron usually runs no fist death or only a little bit of fist death. Sometimes they run um, like 40 fist death. So he goes Clef. Uh, I'm dragging off quick, so maybe U-turn was a roll to kill the Gastron. He didn't want to risk it. So now the Charm should just uh, soft bolt spam to get his Clefable back healthy. And then he can either start Moonblasting after or he could go hard into Tornadus when he's um, back at full. Th those are his options. Uh, I guess he wants this healthy because his Gastron is weakened. And the Magina can be a big problem um, with the Gastron being weakened. So yeah, he does switch out with the Clef at full, which makes sense. Now the Torn can go for um, U-turn here on Knockoff. He goes for Knockoff. Okay, we see um, Shuka bury Magina. We already knew the Heatron was Z-move, so uh, we knew that the Magina had to be either Shuka or Guav Berry. Um, since I think the Tangle was, was already his Greninja check, so I figured that the Magina wouldn't be AV. So yeah, we see um, Magina's not Calm Mind, because otherwise he would have gone for Calm Mind, so he's probably Bolt Beam Focus Blast. And yeah, Clefable beats this 1v1, he can just Wish and Moon Blast. As long as he doesn't get hexed, he beats this um, Magina 1v1. Um, but AB, I said, there it is in the chat, so did he freeze him? Yup, <laughs> he froze him. So now, um, this Magina, if it has Focus Blast, which it most likely has, it can win the game for M Dragon, uh, unless the Clef thaws out here. Because the Gastron is super low and probably dies to plus one Ice Beam, if I'm not mistaken. Torn and we will obviously lose to it when we won. And Heatran, um, Heatran would have to dodge a Focus Blast to either hit. So Heatran is his only play here, I don't think he has another option. And now we'll see if it's Focus Blast or whatever his last move is. And it's Focus Blast and he dodges and Heatran is Lava Plume and is able to pick up the Magiana, so... Uh, I'm Dragon froze the Clef, which sucked, um, but he also um, missed the Hydro Pump, and he missed the Focus Blast, so Hex on both sides. Um, uh, obviously, Higher Torn is always the play there. I'm pretty sure this game is over now. He defogs there, which, um, he defogged because otherwise his Greninja dies to Hazards. He's locked into Scarf Defog, so this is a free, um, like, Eternum could have done whatever he wanted to. Um, now he can basically recover with his Gastron because the land was locked into Defog, and yeah. Greninja cannot get Ash form. He can like try to flinch this, but there's a Weevil in the back, and Weevil just wins with Ice Shard. Also, um, there's a Torn in the back since uh, like he can lock himself into Earthquake because of the Torn, and if he locks into HPIs, then the Weevil or the Tren wall him. So yeah, this game is over. Eternum takes game one. Uh, he misses Hurricane. That doesn't matter. But it was a cool game. I think um, the Hydro Pump miss was pretty crucial, but Eternum still would have had some ways around. Um, Still would have had some ways around the Magiana. So I don't think the Hydro Pump miss mattered necessarily more than the, the... The Freeze sucked a bit more than the miss... Than the, um, than the Hydro Pump miss is what I'm trying to say. So I think it was a deserved win for a tournament.